There is, of course, a, dis a, a, a distinction between anti-dumping and anti-subsidy. I'd invite you to check that out online when you get the time. Uh, TCS is the next counter that we're talking about. Em employees of TCS have received tax demand notices due to a potential glitch in the income tax department's system. The notices claim missing TDS records for Q4 of FY25, uh, FY24, rather, that's uh, January to March, leading to demands of up to uh, 1.45 lakh rupees. Let's bring in Haripriya with more details on this one. Haripriya, what are you picking up? Right. Uh, so many RISIS employees have received these tax demand notices. Uh, this happened a couple of days ago. Uh, it is an intimation under the section 143.1 of the IT Act. Uh, this essentially shows that uh, there is no record for the full amount of the TDS that was paid by them. And for the partial uh, amount that the record is not present for, they are supposed to uh, pay it back with interest and other charges. Uh, this is mostly because of a glitch in the website is uh, what they say and uh, employees are saying because of this there will be a delay in the refunds that they would be getting. Uh, this caused confusion for a while uh, but then the company reached out to the employees saying that uh, this situation is noted uh, and then they have also taken actions and connected with the income tax department and said uh, that you know recalibration of this will happen, uh, the returns will be reprocessed and uh, you'll get a, intima a rectification intimation and uh, don't necessarily need to pay anything. Uh, but the tax demand as you said is about uh, 50,000 to 145,000. Uh, some of the employees that we spoke to this said that uh, the system is having a major glitch. They had to enter it uh, manually and stuff. Uh, but then now the, uh, the issue seems to be resolved. The only thing is uh, the refunds will be late now. 